Hello there. My name is Alexander Love, and I'm the founder of the EOS Learning Collective and the EOS Wellness Center. And in this video, we're going to explore what is transformative wellness, as well as one of my favorite emotions, courage. At the end of this video, I have a special gift for you, um, and so I'll give that to you then um, when we're finished exploring together. As many of you might know, um, in my early 20s, my father was killed as a result of gun violence. And ever since that moment, I was thrust onto a path of exploration and learning, essentially to discover how to deal with the human complexities of life, how to deal with pain, how to deal with disorientation, confusion. And what I discovered in the beginning is that I really didn't have any tools based on what I had learned to be able to navigate as a human being in a way that felt meaningful. And then over the years, I, I began exploring um, with different teachers, different practitioners, and I began to learn how to heal. And there's, there, there's one thing in particular that struck me along this journey which relates directly to transformative wellness, which was that even though I was in an incredible amount of pain and at times dissociation and confusion, when I worked with an individual, with a practitioner or a teacher that was able to see through my pain and while holding the pain, they were also able to hold a part in me that hadn't been broken. It was those experiences that were by far the most transformative. Because even if it wasn't spoken, somehow a part of me knew that even though I was in pain, I was also a possibility. I was also a possibility. And over the years, I began to learn more deeply what this was about to such an extent that I had to learn how to do this for other people. Because I, I knew that my own healing and the care that I had received had to become something that I could give back. And so I continued to study and continued to learn and continued to practice. And now after almost two decades of working with, with people, I've seen beyond a shadow of a doubt that we can be in deep human struggle and we can also heal. That we can feel broken at times, completely incapable of facing our challenges, and at the same time be able to learn how to become a possibility. And so that's why I want to share transformative wellness with you today and what this actually means. And where we'll begin is with uh, the word wellness itself. And we'll come back to the transformative part in a little bit. When I speak of wellness, what I'm talking about is this place that exists within every human being. No matter how healthy they appear, no matter how much pain they appear to be in, or how much joy they appear to be in, that every human being has a dimension of their being that is fundamentally well, that is not broken, is not confused, is not in turmoil. And this is something that with practice, each and every one of us can make contact with. So the first part of transformative wellness is in inviting a human being to find the place or places within themselves that's already okay. Even someone who has experienced an incredible amount of trauma, and I've seen this with my own eyes, even someone who's had an incredible amount of trauma in their lives that has left them feeling completely screwed up or hurt, or incapable of orienting to life in a meaningful way because the pain 
of the traumas and, and, and experiences are so great. Even that human being, they are able to contact with practice and guidance, a place within them that is fundamentally well, that is fundamentally unbroken. So now we can go on to explore uh, the transformative dimension of transformative wellness. Transformation. Trans means to go beyond form. To go beyond the current form, and Asian is the process of. So transformation means the process of going beyond our current form. You and I both, we have shapes, emotional shapes, the way in which we feel in, in relationship to the world. We have mental shapes. Something happens and we, we, we perceive it in a, in a certain way. Sometimes the ways in which we perceive things are deeply supportive. They allow us to feel alive and dynamic and like we, we understand the world. There's, there's a sense of sense. We're able to make sense of things. And other times the way that our mind and our emotions are shaped causes us to perceive the world um, as a threat as a huge amount of confusion, any number of things. And so transformation is the act of engaging in a process where we learn how to effectively change the parts of us that need changing. For example, there were places in me that felt broken after my father died. There were places in me that felt as if I didn't really want to participate in life. Now, as you can imagine, that shape of feeling and that shape of thought isn't really supportive when being in a, a marriage or being a father to a child. To be with a child and not to really want to participate in life, that can create problems. And so transformation is the process by which we learn how to embrace. Embrace these, these places in us, these forms within us that are not serving our own, our own deep joy. That are not serving our own deep capacity to have a meaningful and purposeful life. But to embrace them, not push them away, but to actually bring them closer so that they can start to unfurl and unfold, so that they can change, so that they can learn from their, their life experience. We don't want to push away the importance, of, of the, the importance within the pain that, that those parts of us have experienced, but yet we want to allow that form of, of the way we look at the world and of the way that we feel the world, the way we know the world, for that form to be malleable so that it can become something new and become more integrated into our own being so that rather than our pain being a source that shuts us down, our pain becomes something that enables us um, to have a more meaningful life, a more loving life, where pain breaks our hearts open. Now, when we put these together, transformative wellness, what this means is that we draw upon these deep resources of wellness first. We make sure that we can orient to our own experience in our body, in our being, um, from a place where we can experience directly this sense of wellness. And this is something that everyone can learn, and there are different ways to do it um, where we can find this wellness. And from this, we now have an anchor of resource that enables us to embrace, love, and hold the places within us that don't feel whole. And when there's a contact made, between these deeper resources of wellness 
and embracing the parts of us that are hurt, confused, lost, etc. That uh, puts into motion a very deep and lasting transformative process. So now what I'd like to do is I'd like to talk about one of my favorite emotions, which is courage. And there are a few dimensions to courage that I want to explore with you. The first is that a part of courage includes a deep knowing that there is a radical step that we need to take in our lives. That there's something in me that knows I need to make this step, I need to make this change, I need to try this, I need to do that, whatever it may be in our lives. Courage is only uh, possible with the presence of first knowing that there's something in our lives that we need to do that we haven't yet done. Whether it be have a, 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 a difficult conversation or enter into a new world of discovery. Secondly, courage always includes the presence of fear. So I know that I need to make a change in my life and I'm scared to do it. And thirdly, courage always includes a contact with uh, the depth of our willpower, healthy willpower, the strength to be able to take the necessary steps in our lives that we know we need to take for um, our own healing, um, for the betterment of the people that are around us, whatever, whatever it is, that there is an alignment with our will, our healthy will, and whatever action it is that we know that we need to take, while also being in the presence of sometimes deep fear. And that's what I love about courage, is that Courage embraces fear as a part of it. It's an integral part to what it means to be courageous. Number one, I'm deeply connected to where I must act. Number two, I'm deeply connected to that I'm scared to do that act. And number three, I'm committing to a place in me that's, that's strong even if I don't feel like all of me is strong, enough to, even if I'm shaking, to move in the direction of um, giving life to the new moves that we need to make, even though they scare us. For me, losing my father, I spent a lot of time feeling ambivalent in life. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to participate wasn't really sure if I wanted to, to be here in a, in a participatory way in this crazy life where things seem to just hurt. And I first discovered courage when I began to face how ambivalent I actually was and then realized that my sense of being lost confused. And as a young man, I definitely didn't want to admit that I was lost and confused. But to have to finally admit that and then engage in a courageous process of asking for help. And as a result of that, I feel as if so many beautiful things emerged. As a result of that one courageous act, so many possibilities that I never, ever could have fathomed came into being. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this brief presentation of both transformative wellness and courage. I know that for me, both of these things have had a really big impact in my life, and I hope that this presentation brings something valuable and meaningful to you in, in your life. And I mentioned that there was a gift. Actually, there's two gifts. And the first is in the form of a 30-minute free conversation. I'm an acupuncturist and a coach, and if you're somebody who is interested in learning how to transform your life, your health, in such a way that your pain and your struggles have 
more room around them to be able to grow into something that allows you to feel that your life is more meaningful, that you have more capacity um, to be able to embrace and be with these particular challenges. Um, this is something that I help people with. I've been helping people do this for almost two decades. And on the one hand, I'm super busy and I don't have a lot of space um, to see new clients. On the other hand, I always like to keep some space available for human beings who want to dive in um, and really explore what transformation can be like in their lives. So if you are serious about your healing process, if you're serious about transformation and exploration in deep ways, then you can go ahead and click below um, and set up a 30-minute conversation. Basically what will happen is if you click below, I will be notified and then I will contact you and we can find a time that works for both of us. Now, the other gift is that once you click below, it will take you inside the course area where you will have access to two meditations. One meditation is on transformative wellness, the other meditation is on courage. And so what that will enable you to do is you can take what we've learned um, in this presentation and take it into a more embodied place. So anyway, thank you so much. I'm really happy that you're here, and I look forward to engaging.